Butt hair, literally butt hair, is how I got my grooming start on YouTube. Nine years ago, I did a video talking about what to do in terms of the hair and how to manage it on your cheeks and your crack. Because I knew that I couldn't be alone, right? I knew that I wasn't the only dude that was like, yo, what should I do with this stuff? And I have tried a few different options, some were better than others, but I thought that I would share my experience. And the other reality is that I literally have shaved every square inch of my body from the neck down. Because I was a bodybuilder before a bodybuilding show, before you put on your tan in order to get all your muscles to pop and to look amazing, you shave every square inch of your body, literally every square inch with a razor. And from personal experience, I can tell you that there are certain areas and parts of a male body that should never be shaved with a razor and today I'm gonna go over all of them. So real quick, little hair removal tutorial. There are a few options, five specifically, in terms of removing hair on your body. There is laser, right, which is going to zap the hair. Now the upside to this is that it is a more permanent option, but it typically doesn't work after one treatment. The other downside to laser hair removal is that it's expensive. It does cost a lot for these various sessions and you gotta go in for a bunch of them. The second option in terms of removal is to rip the hair out with wax. The upside to using some type of of wax in order to extract the hair from the root is that it's quick, right? It's gonna be very fast. The downside is that it is a bit painful. And in certain areas of your body, like your like your butthole, like do you do you really want to rip the hair out? Let's talk about tweezers. Boom, plucking hair, another option. This is pinpoint precision. The next option is to actually trim, and this is the option that I use most often, all right? Now, the one thing you need to understand is that when it comes to trimmers, all beard trimmers and body trimmers were not created equal. There is one that is the best, it is the Brio. I'm gonna link to this down below. The Brio I've been using for years. I use it not only on my face, it's the best beard grooming tool out there on the planet. The Brio is also the perfect and best grooming tool I've ever used in terms of my body and I have used and tried all the popular ones and by popular I mean this one right everybody knows this one I went out and actually bought this to test it and try it because there was so much hype around it solid product um, I do like it I don't love it as much as my Brio now one of the upsides to this type of product is that you can actually use it like in the shower but for me when I actually tried it it didn't work as well. I don't like manscaping or grooming wet hair. For me, the Brio is the best, but in full transparency, they are today's video sponsor and they are a product and a sponsor that I've had for years and I love them. This is actually the new 2.0 version, guys. I'm gonna link to it down below. If you guys wanna grab the best, the deal right now is insane. Right now for a limited time, for those of you who actually go through our special link, you gotta go through the link though. You're not only gonna get the Brio, you're also the free Zero Blade. It's a $25 value but this blade is so insane in terms of how close it actually gets. And for those of you out there that do have sensitive skin, like under your neck, this is the perfect option. I've also tried this, which is called the Peanut. It's a little tiny, like edging, like trimmer. I've tried this in terms of manscaping. This one, it cuts me a lot, and that may just be me, but this one I don't love as much as my Brio. Now, the other option is, of course, the razor, and this is the option that is most common. Now, the problem with a razor is that because a lot of these razors nowadays have like five blades, every blade is like a separate stroke over your face. When you shave with this type of razor, right, the hair is oftentimes trapped underneath the skin. Now, the good news is that it's super baby, sexy, smooth, not that babies are sexy, but you get what I'm saying. The problem is, depending on the area of your body, and depending on if you're actually exfoliating in the shower, that hair gets trapped underneath the skin, causing ingrown hairs, razor bump, not to mention crazy irritation. So the first little shaving pro tip I'd like to give you, if you have sensitive skin, don't use this type of razor with like seven blades. Use something a little bit more old school, like a standard safety razor. A single blade, one pass, not as close, but more comfortable. Now, let's talk about areas of the body you should never shave with the razor from the head and we're gonna work our way to the feet. Number one is a widow's peak. If you have a little widow's peak or any type of irregularity in terms of your hairline, do not shave it with a razor. It looks stupid. The second area of the male body you should never shave is any part of your eyebrow, including the center but also right there on the outside of the top where those little fine hairs grow. All right, now, number one is the center, why? Because when you actually shave with the razor, you're gonna see a cross section of all of the hairs in your unibrow. It literally makes you look like you got five o'clock stubble in between your brows and everybody can tell that you shaved it. A better option is 
tweezers. Pluck the hairs individually. And the reason why it's better is because when the hair starts to grow back, when you remove it from the root, it's gonna start as a fine point, and so it's not gonna be as noticeable. Think of the little tiny hairs above your eyebrows as supporting hairs, right? You need them in order for your eyebrows not to look super feminine, but what happens, a lot of guys, when they remove those eyebrow hairs, it actually makes your eyebrows look a little bit more feminine and definitely a little bit too thin. Now let's talk about our face and our neck, all right? Now, a lot of dudes will use a standard razor to shave their face, all right? For me, I literally don't use a razor anymore. I will use my Brio, I'll trim my beard, and then I'll pop on my Zero Blade, which I'll actually show you. Pop it on, and look how close that actually gets, right? And then what I'll do is just shave up on my cheeks and Super close, super tight. And like I said, guys, they're giving these zero blades away for free. It's a $25 value. Boom, I'll pop on the standard blade, which has the titanium rake, ceramic blade, and the micro adjustment. And then for my face, I use the six millimeter guard. It actually comes, the Brio, with a bunch of different ones. They're two-sided. And then I'll drop the micro adjustment all the way down and go over my entire face. Guys, you'll notice a huge difference when you start using a better grooming tool. And one like the Brio that has this much control, like right there by my sideburns, I'll pop it up, go up and fade and feather it so that it blends with my sideburns. I'm telling you guys, if you don't have a Brio, you need one. Link below. Let's talk a little bit about the chest. I will take all the hair as low as I can get it. And then I'll grab my razor, hit the shower and shave my chest about once a week. Now the cool thing is that the chest, the skin is pretty like, like tough, right? Because it's your chest, of course. And so as long as every day when you get in the shower, you are exfoliating with the loofah or some type of like scrubbing something in order to keep the area or the pores open so that you don't get hairs trapped, it's no problem to shave with a razor. Also, your arms. I am also a dude that shaves his arms. And the reason is pretty simple. I like the look. I also like the fact that it makes me look more lean and vascular. And so if you're somebody that wants to shave his arms, do it. I have never had ingrown hairs on my arms from shaving with the razor, no problem. Now, now let's talk about the armpits, all right? I actually let my armpits grow in for this video. Um, I do not like shaving my armpits with a razor, and there are two reasons. Number one, I don't like it that clean in terms of like no hair. I also personally find it a little bit uncomfortable in terms of shaving. Now, I know that obviously people get used to it. Every woman, most women shave their armpits every day, no problem, but for me, I like just a little bit of hair. I just don't like a huge like bush of hair. Next up, let's talk about your stomach. All right, now, shaving, I've tried it. I've done it a few times. I've actually not found it super comfortable. Personally, around like my happy trail region and my stomach, I will just take the hair down with a trimmer, right? Take it as low as it can go because for whatever reason, I find that I break out down in my like lower like pube region when I actually shave. And so for me, even like my man bush, I will not use a razor on. Top of my penis, yes. Man bush, no. Now gentlemen, we're getting into the razor danger zone. All right, so for me, the pube region, don't shave it. Trim it low. And the reason is because, once again, that area and that skin is super sensitive. I also, if I'm like getting a lot of action, <laughs> we'll get like more like ingrown hairs because of the rubbing and it's just not like, it's not super comfortable. And so I trim it super short. Now, my wiener, top of the wiener where you get those hairs, right? Definitely shave that bad boy with a razor. Also my balls, after I've taken the bulk or the length of my fuzzy nuts down, I will simply and safely shave my balls with a clean razor. But let's talk about the booty. All right, so here's the deal. I have shaved it. The cheeks, I've also shaved in the crack. I would not recommend that. Once again, it's about the grooming tool. You can take it as low as it'll go, but don't actually shave it. For me, when I shaved my butt cheeks, it was one of the most miserable three days I've ever had. Because every single time I'd sit down, it would feel like I was sitting on a freaking porcupine. In terms of the crack, once again, I will trim it. I'll just pull like one cheek, get my other arm up, up the one side, another way, up the one side. But in terms of actually shaving, once again, when the hair starts to grow back in, it was murder. But I've also tried waxing it. That was a miserable, horrible experience as well. Once again, when the hair starts to grow back in, it gets super uncomfortable for me. Now, 
If you are somebody that is gonna shave or remove the hair in any area, it's all about keeping the pores open and clean and allowing that hair to actually poke back through and not get trapped or curl or ingrown or nasty. Now, in terms of my legs, all right, if you are somebody that does have super hairy legs, I would definitely think about taking some of the leg hair down so that you look more muscular and your calves look a little bit more defined. But if you're like, yo, I wanna go a little bit more clean, a little bit more sexier, I do shave my legs. Um, it's something I've been doing for years. Um, a lot of athletes do it just to show definition. And for me, I find it more comfortable. Legs are perfectly fine in terms of shaving. And that's it, gentlemen. A little tutorial on the areas of the male body that a dude should never shave, all right? Some areas, you may be like, yo, I shave it all the time, no big deal, that's fine. I'm just telling you, from my personal and painful experience, there are areas that I personally will never, ever, ever shave again.